charged particles experience force near other charged particles. Suppose that we want to represent the force on a small positive test charge. We place it here, and then we draw an arrow. This arrow represents the force. So we can do this anywhere in the region of this negatively charged particle. And the closer we have our small positive test charge, the greater the force. As we put a small positive test charge farther away and farther away, there is less and less force. We can do this for the entire region around our negative charge, showing that where we have a close distance that we have a greater force or a stronger force. When we have a far distance, we have a weaker force. So why not? We keep doing this. Um, as we do this, we get more and more arrows, and they're going to start filling up our space. In fact, as we get a whole bunch of arrows, they're going to be a little bit more confusing and difficult to read in terms of figuring out what's going on. So we need an alternate method to figure out what the region around this charge looks like in terms of the force on a small positive test charge. What we're going to do, we're going to draw lines. The four rules for drawing electric field lines. First, proportionality. More charge, greater field strength. Second, strength is indicated by the spacing. Closer equals stronger. Third, directionality. Away from positive and towards negative. Fourth, symmetry. For my negative charge, first I have to decide how many lines to draw. I'll draw eight. I like eight. Next, make them symmetrical. It's easy to do that using compass points. Since the force from a single charged particle is always directly towards or away from the particle, in this case towards, I draw the lines from the starting point as straight lines. The last thing I'll do is add arrows, showing that a small positive test charge will be attracted to the negative charge. Notice that the now new field lines are closer together, close to the charge, where the force is stronger, and farther away, far away from the charge, where the force is weaker.